When Darth Vader realised his beloved Padme had died as a result of a cocktail of his own rage, plus a little bit of pure heartbreak, it broke him and turned him fully into the Darth Vader we all know and love. But through all the times he was busy being a naughty boy, did he ever visit the grave of Padme? He did. Though he was the Dark Lord of the Sith, his love for Padme and his pain and the grief ended up overpowering his affinity to the dark side. In the Darth Vader series by Greg Pak, Raphael Ayanko and Neeraj Menon, Vader went to Naboo to find answers on how Padme actually died and what happened to the son they were supposed to raise together. On his journey, he encounters Padme's double Sabe, who executes a plot to kill Vader in a Gungan base with the help of a big juicy fish. It fails, and Vader ends up fighting Naboo citizens before arriving at Padme's grave, greeted once more by Sabe and her handmaidens, who are trying to stop him from desecrating Queen Amidala's final resting place. As he can't bring himself to open the grave, Vader gets his droid to scan the tomb, which then leads him to Polis Massa, where he finds the remains of the midwife droid that delivered his children and a video message of Padme stating she believes there is still good in him. Vader doesn't get his answers on his son, just a heartbreaking reminder of how much Padme truly loved him. A lot more violence than I thought there would be when simply trying to visit a deceased loved one, but Vader does things differently to me, I guess. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you and your unwashed ass next time.